This time on Weekend Rental, uh, the four of us got together and checked out a PS1 sports game called Professional Underground League of Pain. It is a, I guess, hardball styled or murder ball styled uh, sports game, very European. Uh, it's by Psygnosis and um, it supports up to four players, which is very appealing to us. Has a futuristic setting, maybe prison, maybe not. Um, but everybody's wearing cool armor and there's laser balls being thrown around at a robot hoop. So it's a strange mixture of like rub rugby, basketball, I guess a little bit of football, maybe some soccer and um, early PS1 3D uh, jank and quirk. To kick us off with Vertex, I'm gonna clue in Will. Hey guys, so League of Pain, what can I say? What I liked about it, it was uh, a sports game from the late 90s on the PSX. Uh, I thought that was cool. There's the three songs, I think there's three, right? Of which I can count on a single hand are good. Everything was just pure chaos, but it was fun chaos. So take that as you will. I wrote, it's a 90s PSX sports game with Dutch angles, confusing controls, a shoot button that doesn't shoot unless it's at a wall, and shout outs to the composer for the solid three songs. What a mess, but it's a fun game. All right, and I'll, I'll take over from here. So yeah, um, I'd agree with all that. I, lo I love the idea of Dutch angles. Um, the, the camera angles, we, we tried a bunch and none of them seem to really make it more readable. Uh, I, I think it's a technically impressive and really artistically distinct PS1 sports game. I think it runs really well. I think it's really cool. It's a bit hard to grasp. We had some we had some real difficulties figuring out like just the basic objectives and how the controls were supposed to work. Um, didn't see any in-game tutorial or, or controls reference there. So that kind of detracted from the experience. Maybe the, maybe if we had looked up and found the actual manual or played the Riot release in, in European. Um, or. It, not in European like the language, but in in the, that region, we would have had a better time. But um, for me, it's just missing a little bit of refinement and usability considerations. Hard to tell what team you're on sometimes. It's hard to tell how close you are to the goal or lining up shots and stuff like that. So uh, I give it 2.5 Garfields out of five. It was cool to check out, but I don't think I would uh, go back to it. Neosense, what'd you think of this one? You know, I thought this game was really fun. Uh, I will agree that I describe this game as almost competent because it was f it it was fast. It had some clear kind of ingenuitive objectives in the basic new sport that they've come up with. It's it's always entertaining to me to see a video game contrive a new sport uh, when uh, the the standards are so deeply etched into our ideas of how these games work. But it does have some of the fundaments that are found in other uh, contemporary sports. That being said, it misses some of the the basic stuff that makes a competitive sports like or sports game fun, which is pass should pass to another player on your team. You should know what the players on your team look like and the objectives should be a little clear. There's some quality of life stuff that could have been done. You had to touch this small several pixel bar to charge your ball and well, at certain camera angles, you couldn't even see it. Uh, and w w once we discerned that that's what we were supposed to do, we even had a hard time figuring out where uh, virtually that, that space was located. Otherwise, uh, it gets a whole point for me for uh, having not one, but I think three buttons that sound horns, which is huge. Uh, and, and I think designers, game designers, game devs, they should be taking notes. They should be paying attention to this kind of stuff, you know? Should should look look to this, but you know I, I'm I'm curious what my uh, buddy Dime on Time thought about all this. Well, uh, honestly, I I I have plenty of good things to say about the game. It was pretty fun. Um, I don't know. I, I felt genuine enthusiasm and uh, edge of my seatedness at certain points, which I didn't expect for the first maybe 45 minutes that we were playing this game, because um, as was touched on before, really nothing was made clear. Uh, the, while I do 
like the idea that one should just be able to jump in and intuit something um, without having too much hand-holding or anything like that. Uh, this game wasn't intuitive enough for one just to pick up and figure out. Not to mention, by the time that we were done with it, I still didn't know which button did what. Maybe three buttons uh, through the ball. Couldn't figure out if they were different, if one was better for shooting, if one was better for passing. Um, I think I shot a successful basket once. Um, I mean, it, it took us, it took us uh, all putting our brains together to kind of figure out what the point of the game was in the first place and then figure out which buttons did what. And I'll, I'll say this, it, we had a good time doing it. Um, not to not to knock it too much, but uh, yeah, I, I, I couldn't, I couldn't, I definitely couldn't recommend this game. It's somewhat surprising to me that um, money went into putting this onto physical objects and distributing it around the world. Um, but I liked it. Uh, it gets an extra 0.5 uh, Garfields for me just from the fact that I, I enjoyed it so much. I did have a good fun time doing it. Um, yeah, that's all I can say about it. 2.5 Garfields. All right, good yeah, rental. It, it should be noted that I was the best at this game. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Scored the most are points. We gonna have, are we going to have like a crown that gets given out? <laughs> I, I like to think you were just like kind of waiting, like, okay, well, maybe it's uh, Dime's turn. Maybe he'll say something about how good I, it was. No one else mentioned. <laughs> <laughs> Last one came you around. Were. Maybe he'll say something about how good Because you said you scored like good. one goal. I can't tell you how I many goals I scored a few. Scored. You scored a few, uh, Filter. Mm -hmm. Will scored a couple. It's yeah. not easy. Will, you had the. The, the defense on unlock too You're a formidable just, opponent i was just spamming the circle button whatever that did me too there's no stamina <laughs> on it you can just mash it why not yeah only Once thing that was like risky guy, was the dive uh yeah. the dive we, we saw a couple guys get like beat up or like yeah they'd be down yeah yeah because they got punched too much right you know classic that's just a good rental it's fun I knew nothing about this game. I just kind of like saw it on CD Romance, and I was like, "All right, that's a cover. Let's do it." It looks yeah, weird. Yeah. It's a it's a curio, if anything. Yeah, uh, definitely, is, definitely. I love when we do those because they're weird. I wonder. Yeah, it's it, it it's it's truly difficult to to discern just based on how little there is on the internet about this game you know did it have a following at all who knows don't know but yeah i got people love wide it. wide release yeah i mean it went everywhere it it's seemed true. like we did watch the whole yeah. <laughs> credit review <laughs> at least like 100 people in there right Thank yeah you. yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> something like that i am gonna grab that song i'm gonna put it in the vgm channel that song's good that surf rock yeah, song, that song i is think good. was the best I want to. Yeah. I mean, I, I wish there was an album of that. Maybe you could just cool. just put that song twelve times on a CD and just mm -hmm. go, to, go to town. Just yeah. Listen, listen. Yeah. Away. Why not? <laughs> Make a playlist of one song and put it on shuffle. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. That's a powerful yeah. playlist. <laughs> 